Hello Pokemon Bit Beta, this is 97 and today I am going to bring you guys a battle and I believe that this is my first upload to this channel. So I'm um, just going to quickly introduce myself. My original name is Pedro, I am Portuguese so I'm sorry for any mistake I do in English, you can please correct me on that. So, I think we can go into the battle, and as you can see from the team preview, I um, have a OU battle for you. I made this team, and it's, the team is cool, and it works fine, so I'm going to explain it. I have a defensive Rotom Wash, with pain splits, those just a regular defensive Rotom Wash. I just have the um, Moxie Salamence with max special attack no not max special attack but it has some special attack investment and attack investment because I do have fire blast on it I have just a defensive fortress and it has a little bit special defensive investment um, the Infernape it is a mixed set I have um, overheat and close combat mag punch yeah um, the Terrakion is a choice scarfed and this Celebi is just a specially defensive Celebi. So let's just get straight into the battle. So as you have seen from the team preview, he is going to lead off with his Genesect, as I am going to lead off with my Rotom Wash. And um, he gets the special attack boost, not really too threatened by it. He goes for the T-Bolt non-stab, so I should take that fairly nicely. I go for the Vault Switch, thinking he would want it we would want to switch out uh, he doesn't but that works he is unfortunately going to score the paralyze there but not going to really that matter that much I'm going to my Infernape because I knew that I could take him out with the overheat but he actually inside goes into his Rotom Wash and I do I'm going to miss my overheat which is kind of unfortunate because residual, residual damage is always good I knew he would like go for the electric type or the um, spe um, uh, water type move, so I switched out into my Celebi just to resist it. And Celebi takes nothing from that. He's, he's going to go into his Terrakion, I go for the T-Wave and I'm going to paralyze the Terrakion, so that thing is um, now crippled. And he basically, anything can outspeed him on my team. I'm going to switch out because I'm fearing the x Scissor. So I go into my fortress, he's going to get paralyzed there, he's going to get paralyzed again, sorry about that. I go um, to a layer of toxic spikes because I want something status and poisons. He's gonna go for the close combat and I don't take that as well as I thought but that's gotta be choice bandit. I go for a layer of spikes just to bait him for going to that stormy and maybe rapid spin them. Uh, I think now that now I can resist in the close combat and then go for the Gyro Ball. He is at minus one defenses and special defenses, so Gyro Ball should do a good chunk of damage. And it actually, <laughs> I thought it would do more actually, but that's fine. Um, I believe he can finish me off with another close combat right here. But right now he will be um, forced to switch out because anything will kill him because he's, he is at minus 3 special defensive and defenses. I go into my Celebi because I knew that a Giga Drain would kill. And uh, he goes into his Stormy and going for the Giga Drain wasn't bad because it, it is going to hit the Stormy super effectively as you'll see right now. The Stormy gets poisoned by the Toxic Spikes which is good because yeah and the Giga Drain gets me up to full and does a good chunk of damage. He has a leftovers, but he's poisoned that the game's that. Uh, I believe that he now goes for the rapid spin, and he can outspeed me because I don't have any speed investment. So I go for the stealth rocks after he rapid spins. So that now he is most likely thinking that I will go for the stealth rocks again, predicting him to go for the rapid spin. But actually, I don't. He goes for the um, the side shock right now, and I don't take anything from that. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain and I'm going to finish off the Stormy and I got my Stealth Rocks which was really nice. He is gonna die so I believe that now I will basically, yeah he's gonna go for this Genesect but I basically cannot do anything with Celebi to the Genesect and but I know that I am at full HP but, and I can resist the Ice Beam or the Flamethrower everything he wants to do. So I go for the Thunder Wave just to cripple the Genesect 
and which was awesome. And I think that now I can re um, outspeed and go for the recover and then get back to full and then switch out. But he instead gets the attack boost and goes for the U turn. That will be two times effective. Of course, it's not going to take out my Celebi because, yeah, two times effective, got the attack boost, and I don't have any defensive investment. Um, he's gonna switch out right now to the, due to the U turn. He's gonna go to his Rotom Wash. Um, and I will basically go into my Salamence because it's the only thing that can take the Rotom Wash right now. I go for the Outrage right off the bat because. Yeah, nothing on his team appreciates the tech that it almost takes out the Rotom Wash. He goes for the Thunderbolt because I am a Dragon type that will be neutral and I'm gonna live that. I'm gonna go for the Outrage again because I'm locked into it and it's gonna go down. And I do am going to get the Moxie Boost, which is awesome because now I, I got a free turn Outrage and I'm going to hurt everything he brings in. He brings in the Tyranitar and I um, go for another Outrage because I'm obviously locked into it. And it almost, almost, almost takes out the Tyranitar, it was at plus one, but Tyranitar is really bulky. So I do have the Lumberry, but he is gonna go for the Crunch and take me out of that range, of course. Yeah, then down goes my Salamence, but it did his job in um, almost Hoko 2 Pokemon. I now I'm going to my Inferno because I knew that Mac Punch, close combat, any fighting type move would kill the Ty Tyranitar. And I go for the close combat in off chance of him wanting to switch out, so... Yeah, down goes the Tyranitar, uh, but I am now at minus one defenses, and yeah, it's gonna bring in a Jirachi, I'm gonna go for the, uh, oh no, sorry, I'm gonna switch out, sorry, I go into my Rotom Wash, that basically has a Death Water, he goes for the Body Slam, I take that really nicely, um, and now, um, he, I am paralyzed, so he cannot paralyze me, obviously, if he wants to go for a power finishing move, it, you will definitely get it. He goes for the Iron Head, does nothing to me because I two times resist that. Um, but, yeah, I am now on a range that the Body Slam will definitely kill me. He can outspeed, of course. I'm gonna go for the Body Slam and he's going to take out my Rotom Wash, but that's fine because I obviously bring that as a Death Water. I'm gonna go for the Overheat, unfortunately I'm gonna miss it again. And he is going to go for the Iron Head, and he is going to score a critical hit. So I missed the overheat, and he got a crit with the Iron Head. Well, luckily enough, I do manage to survive that. I'm going to go for the overheat. That's a max specially defensive Jirachi. Look at the damage that overheat does. It does way too much for him. He is going to go for the Body Slam. I live with 5 HP, but unfortunately the Sand will take me out this turn. But um, now I am uh, left into my Terrakion, I am Choice Scarf, I'm pretty sure that I, can, uh, that I can outspeed everything. I'm gonna have to lock myself into the close combat. It of course is going to take out the Jirachi from that range, yeah. Um, he still has a, his Terrakion, which is most likely Choice Bandit, but he's paralyzed and yeah, quick attack, even if he has it, it won't do much and he actually goes for it because he outspeeds. Unfortunately he's gonna get paralyzed. Not really uh, that that did that matter because quick attack is non stab it's a really weak move, 40 base power, it would be not very effective. Even if I am at minus one defense and he is um, to bend it, I will take that of course. And he's gonna go for the Genesect and I go for another close combat and I'm going to finish a Genesect. And that's going to be the narrow 1-0 victory for me. And it was really a um, good battle, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you did... You please feel free to check out my channel, the link will be down below in the description, I hope. And please check out my opponent, which is Weepon Pokemon, I hopefully his channel link will be also down below in the description. Yes, um, feel free to comment uh, on this video and tell me what I can improve, because I, re I will really enjoy that, and I promise that I will answer the comments, yes. Um, yeah, give a like to this video. And I believe that um, until the next time I come here, I'm gonna say later.